Hey guys, welcome to another fragrance video. Today I'm gonna to be doing my body spray collection. I'm not gonna be talking about any like concentrated perfumes. This is just like my body sprays and mists. I thought I would share them with you guys because I actually love body spray. I am not like a perfume snob or anything like that. And if it smells good and I feel like it has decent performance, then I still like to wear them when I'm just at home, around the house, or even sometimes when I go out if it's just like a casual day. As you can see today, I didn't really have the energy to dress up. I wanted to throw on a comfy sweatshirt and just sit down and film. Usually I like to wear jewelry and a cute top, but I just wasn't feeling it today. So we're comfy and I'm ready. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, but first don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already. And you can also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and we're gonna get started. I have about 15, I think it is, to share with you guys today. I might've counted wrong, but I don't have like a ton, a ton of body sprays just because I wear perfume more and I don't want to have like an excessive collection of these big bottles if I'm not gonna wear them a lot. So. I mean, it's still a lot of body sprays, but it's not like as many as some people have. So we may as well go ahead and start with some of my favorites. One of my recent purchases is this Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. And I love the smell of this so much. I have the Strawberry Pound Cake scent in a candle as well as a room wallflower. And I just love this as a home scent, but also to wear myself. It's such a sweet, sugary, just like it says, strawberry cake scent. Um, the fragrance notes on the back of this just say fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream, which I think describes it really well. Um, what I'm smelling right now is more the dry down, which is a little bit more perfumey. But when you first spray this, it definitely has more of that strawberry cake sweet scent just in the dry down. It almost smells like you get like a little bit of musk or something, but it's nothing crazy. I would say the room scent is pretty linear. You really just get that strawberry cake scent throughout and it smells so delicious. This is sort of like for me, if I want something as sweet as pink sugar, but more fruity, this is what I would go for because this has that strawberry note. So it's not just pure caramel cotton candy. It actually has a little bit of something different in it. So this is kind of like my trade off for when I want that type of a sweet scent, but something like I said, with some fruit in it. Another one of my favorites is from the pink line at Victoria's Secret, and this is their warm and cozy scent. I know this has vanilla and I think maybe like peony or something in here as well. And then I think there's marshmallow in this. I'm not exactly sure but I will have the notes listed down below or then in a screenshot on the screen if I can find like Fragrantica uh, notes on all of these. But this one is just like a soft, sweet, girly, feminine, flirty vanilla. So this one is not like as intense as this one. It's more soft and not like as sweet, but it is still sweet. It's just more vanilla-y and flirty and definitely something that I feel like a lot of people will like. I can't picture somebody not liking this. It's just such a likable girly scent. This one I actually keep in my bathroom and I love to spray it when I get out of the shower. It just makes me feel so fresh and girly and sweet and I really, really love warm and cozy. This is for sure one of my favorite body mists. Let's talk about a mini I have here, but this one is also one of my all time favorites. And this is from Victoria's Secret Bombshell. So this is like their one of their classic fragrances. Everybody knows about Bombshell. Oh my gosh. I love this scent so much. I don't think it's boring. Even though it's nothing groundbreaking, I think that it's recognizable. And if somebody's wearing Bombshell, I can tell. This one has passion fruit, grapefruit. I think it might have peony in it. Um, it just has a really delicious, like citrusy, sweet sort of scent. It has that fresh citrusy, fruity scent, but then it's sweet as well. It's like sugared oranges or something, but it's not just citrus. It's blended beautifully with the other notes in here. This one I know I can find the notes on Fragrantica and I'll have them on the screen. I think there's a decent amount of notes in this and I don't remember them all, but I just know that I love this scent for summertime. It's absolutely amazing for the summertime. You could wear this other times of year if you wanted to, but I personally think that it's more of a summer scent and it's just such a pretty scent. 
I actually am just thinking now that these might smell good together. I've never thought of it before because I never see them like beside each other. But this one might add a little bit of like a vanilla warmth to this, which I think would be really pretty. So I'm gonna have to try mixing these and let you guys know what I think. I'm just kind of going randomly here, you guys. I don't have anything in a specific order and I'm not like doing my Victoria's Secret ones, then my Bath and Body Works ones. So maybe you guys like that more. You can let me know for future videos, but I'm not very organized here. I just wanted to talk about some of my favorites first, but I love all of these as well. Um, it's kind of hard to say that those are just my favorites because I love some of these other ones a lot. So let's talk about one from Sol de Janeiro. This is their Brazilian Crush body fragrance mist and this one let's see if it has the notes on it it just says pistachio and caramel which i know are two of the notes in this but i think there's a couple of others in here as well mm. this is a sweet gourmand but kind of in like a summery way it has this like tropical sort of feel to it even though there's no coconut or anything in this but it has this summery vibe to it and it's also sweet and gourmand and rich at the same time, which is really hard to find, honestly. Um, usually it's kind of gourmand winter, light and fresh summer, but this is a sweet gourmand that you could wear in the summertime. You could also wear it in the winter if you wanted to, but this is just so delicious smelling. It has that warm vanilla scent, but with a twist. It's not a typical vanilla and it's something a little bit different but it's amazing. So I definitely recommend Brazilian Crush. I honestly would just get this one if you've been considering the actual perfume version, just because I've heard that this one has like the same longevity and I think that the performance on this is good. So I'm just gonna continue to get this one instead of spending the extra money on the perfume. Just based on what people have said, it's not really worth the price compared to this. Back to Bath & Body Works. I have In The Stars. Oh my gosh, you guys, this scent is so addicting. I hear people say that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge thing. Honestly, I don't think it smells like that at all because that has like this burnt sugar sweet scent. And this to me is almost a little bit like cologne. -y. It has a sort of sweetness to it. It's kind of woody, but it has a cologne vibe to it, like leftover cologne on your boyfriend's shirt or on your shirt. So the fragrance notes in this are starflower, sandalwood, musk, sugared tangelo, white agar wood, and radiant amber. You definitely get that ambery scent from this along with those woody notes. I could just sit here and sniff this. This smells so good. I love the way that I smell when I wear this. I feel super confident with it. It has that sort of cologne vibe but it's also feminine at the same time it just has a twist to it i personally like i said don't think it smells like baccarat rouge i could see how it has that sort of undertone that baccarat rouge has that makes it kind of unique but it just doesn't smell the same to me it's its own fragrance but i absolutely love in the stars it's not too strong but the performance is really great on this i could smell this on my clothes for days it has really good performance for a body spray. I don't think it's too masculine or anything, so don't let that throw you off. If you don't like that sort of thing, I think you would still like this, but just give it a sniff. Let me know your thoughts because I am obsessed. Another one of my favorite Bath & Body Works sprays, I haven't really worn this one since I got it because I purchased it more recently, and this is a little bit more of a winter scent for me. I used to wear the perfume of this in December, like right over Christmas time and stuff, it reminds me of the holidays for that reason, but I would just wear it all winter long. The reason I purchased the body spray in this is just because I can't find the perfume version anymore. I don't think they do it anymore. They just sometimes come back with the fragrance mist version of their retired fragrances on Bath & Body Works. So that's why I found the body mist, but can't find the perfume. But I love the scent of this one. It says on here, the fragrance notes are fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood which I think that is a little bit different from the fragrance notes on Fragrantica, although they very well could have changed the formula and that's why. But I know it had that rum and the peony in it. This is just like a sweet, warm, almost like berry marshmallow sort of scent. That's kind of just what I get from this. Mmm, yes, berries and marshmallows. 
in a wintry Christmassy way, sort of. I don't know. I think this is such a delicious scent. I love the smell of this one. It brings back memories for me and it's definitely one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works. I love Forever Red. Honestly, most of my sprays here are Bath & Body Works. So I'm gonna keep going with that. But let's talk about an older one that I'm almost halfway through at this point. This is Dark Kiss. Again, a retired fragrance mist, but you can still get it sometimes. Mm, I love the smell of this. These older bottles don't have the fragrance notes on the back, but I think the notes in this are like blackberry, vanilla. It's definitely a very sweet sort of scent. I've said it before, this is similar to Salvatore Ferragamo's um, Signorina Misteriosa, but this one has even more blackberry than that one. If you are looking for a cheaper version or you just prefer body sprays and you want a dupe for that, I would check this out. But yeah, I think it's similar or has the same type of vibe to it, but still its own fragrance. Another old one that I've had for years is Be Joyful. This one is also discontinued and I don't know if you can find this one as easily. I don't know if they ever bring this back really. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. Again, the notes are not on the back of this bottle, but this one I'm pretty sure has like tangerine or orange or something and sugar and then a few other notes, but it really does have that sort of sweet citrusy scent, but it's a lot of sugar mixed in with that citrus. So it's not your typical citrusy scent just because of all of that sweet sugariness to it. It really like kind of overpowers this fragrance. It's very, very sweet, but also has that kind of fresh citrusy note. I think it smells really, really good, but I haven't worn it um, as much lately just because it's like one of the oldest body mists in my collection. I am over halfway through this bottle and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it again, so I'm kind of like holding on to it, but I do really like Be Joyful and I wish it would have been a permanent fragrance. Let's switch it back to Victoria's Secret. This is a more recent purchase for me as well, but this one is absolutely divine. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. This is Midnight Bloom, and on the back it just says the notes are Moonflower and Creamy Woods and Star Cross Lover, but that's just like their little description at the bottom. This one smells, I would say, more like Baccarat Rouge than In The Stars. It has more of that vibe to it, but even more than that, it smells like Cloud by Ariana Grande. It is its own fragrance though. It's a little bit different from those while still being similar, but it's really nice. I've already made a little dent in this one, even though I just got it. I just like to spray it on. I think it smells really good. I think I just talked about this in my last video. I also talked about it in a video on my main channel recently, like a favorites video. So this one has definitely been at the top of my body mist list recently. So that is Victoria's Secret Midnight Bloom. Such a good body mist. It smells like it could be a perfume and has good performance. My last Victoria's Secret spray, and then we'll get into the rest of my Bath & Body Works ones. This is honestly a million years old. Look at this bottle. This is the very sexy body mist, but this is in a very, very, very old little mini bottle. I still smell this out of the cap though, and it still smells good. So even though I don't wear this one because it's so expired, I keep it because I just like to be able to go up to the bottle and smell it and bring back all these memories from school and my teenage years. I love this scent and I've been very tempted many times to repurchase this in the perfume or the body spray, but I've heard that the scent has changed a little bit and I love this one. So I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna be disappointed with it. I don't know, honestly, we'll have to see. I do want to go into Victoria's Secret sometime and smell the actual updated version of it, but I just never get into Victoria's Secret. I'm never in the mall, so. We'll have to see, maybe I'll end up blind purchasing it. I don't know, I mean, technically it's not a blind buy, but I really like this. Honestly, from the cap, it smells the same. This one is also really well known, like Bombshell. And I think I like this one just as much as Bombshell, to be honest, at least this version of it. I'm not sure what the notes in this are. I couldn't guess, to be honest. And it does have a sexiness to it, but it's not like a super deep, mature fragrance. It, you can tell it's it's more Victoria's Secret style, you know? It's not super mature and elegant and expensive smelling, but it does have that feel to it, I think, more than some of their other ones, for sure. So, rest of my Bath & Body Works fragrances. This was also a very recent one for me. This is Sea Salt & Lavender. This is one of their new scents. This smells really, really good. On the back, it says the fragrance notes are fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. It really, I mean, that describes the fragrance perfectly. It has a salty lavender 
scent to it. There's something creamy in there for sure, where it kind of smells like a frangipani or coconut type of scent, but it's not overpowering. It's like a calming lavender, but with a beachy twist. So it's very unique. The lavender is not overpowering in this though, so it's not super herbal, but it's there. Mm, I just love this one. I haven't really worn this one much yet, but I would probably wear it more at nighttime than to the beach just for me personally, but you could also totally wear this to the beach or during the day in the summertime. Oh, this is a really, really, really nice scent. It's just very soothing, I would say. So then we have Twilight Woods. This is a classic. I love this fragrance. The notes in this one are lush berry, sparkling mandarin, soft mimosa, apricot nectar, and cypress wood. So it definitely has sort of that sparkling quality to it. It is musky and woody though at the same time. I love Twilight Woods. This is a fragrance that I kind of bought for nostalgia more than anything. I used to wear this in school and when I was a teenager. And so it really brings back memories for me. I loved this scent and I still love it. I just love how musky it is. Even though this has berries in it, I wouldn't consider this a fruity fragrance really. It's more of like a soft, plush, just like woody musk with a little bit of that sparkling quality. And yes, a little bit of berry, but nothing overly fruity or anything like that. So I love Twilight Woods. Then we have Beach Breeze, which is one that is very discontinued. This was like a limited edition scent. I'm not sure exactly what the notes in this are, but it was probably like aquatic with coconut something like that. It really reminds me of their new um, at the beach scent. So if you want something like this, I would pick that one up. You can't find this anymore at all. I've never seen them bring it back because I think it was just a limited edition scent. But yeah, I would just pick up at the beach. I think that one's really good. And the only reason I haven't purchased that one is because I have this one. I feel like it's similar and it probably is expired, but it still smells good. So Mm, that is Beach Breeze. Last Bath & Body Works scent here is Twisted Peppermint. I honestly never wear this. I bought this one like a couple years ago around Christmas time because I just wanted to spray on peppermint or spray it in my house. I thought it smelled good. It was a sweet peppermint scent, but I don't really ever wear this on my body now. Maybe I'll give it to somebody like one of my nieces or something. It's definitely a very young, sweet peppermint scent. Um, I don't know. I just kind of bought it on a random little whim. So that's why I have it and I haven't gotten rid of it. That is all of the body mist that I have in my collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought. I probably won't be doing a ton of body mist videos just because this is more a perfume channel, but I just wanted to show you guys my collection for those of you that may have been curious and I do like body mists as well. So I really hope that you guys will subscribe if you haven't yet and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.